So I wanted to show you all something I heard about recently. Apparently, in Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, Aztecs and Incas can now train stable units. Normally, these civs are very good at Monk, Eagle, and Siege-style pushes, and with access to the Redemption technology, unlike Mayans, your holy men could convert siege and enemy buildings. But since Mesocivilizations have never had access to stables, you would find your newly converted building pretty much useless for you after converting it. That is not the case in Age of Empires 2 DE, and it seems that this was part of the plan. Now when you convert a stable with Aztecs and Incas, you can create what is called the Zolota Warrior, which I'm probably butchering. This warrior has the same stats and cost as a knight. Now, knights are still incredibly expensive, and Aztecs and Incas lack all the armor upgrades in the blacksmith and have no access to bloodlines, but it's still pretty cool that the devs thought this through. It does pose a pretty interesting balance discussion, because in competitive games, Incas and Aztecs are already some of the best civs with this type of a strategy, but I'm excited to see how it plays out. Keep in mind if you're trying this, that when you convert and then produce from a stable, conscription does not apply to the creation of these units, and there are some other wacky team bonuses that will not apply. But if you're a scenario lover and you want to see conscription apply, that'll work for you, and even the Huns team bonus would apply in your team games. Want to see eagles and horses patrol the same lands? Now's your chance. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, sincere thank you to every single one of you for 150,000 YouTube subscribers. Um, I'm in love with a 20-year-old game, and to have that many people following me is insane. That is the size of a pretty large city, <laughs> and I can't wrap my head around it. Um, the AOE2 community and my channel has come a long way over the last few years. And I have a lot to be grateful for, guys. But if you think about it, without you, Aztecs and Incas might have never received this ability. So pat yourself on the back, and I'll see you next time.